What do I do if my husband is not romantic? My name is Paul Friedman. I founded the Marriage Foundation. And I would like to respond to this question, but I would like to open things up for you a little bit more. Because when I hear this question, and I've heard it many times before, what I hear is someone isolating a small, very small component in their marriage that isn't working. Now, oftentimes, it's not just that that isn't working, but sometimes it is. So there's two answers. If that's the only thing, I'm not going to scold you harshly, but if that's the only problem you have, you can help your husband along in that area. You can become more romantic and stimulate the romance in him. It's not that difficult. Now, don't become slutty. That's not romance. Don't do things that will appeal to a woman. You didn't marry a woman, you married a man. And give him gentle reminders in a loving way. Men hate being told what to do. You already know that. So instead of saying, honey, why don't you buy me flowers? Say something like, oh my goodness, you should have seen the flowers that so-and-so got from her husband. And then change the subject. Drop the hint. You know, my experience with women is they're very clever, very creative. But when they become demanding, it becomes very burdensome for a man. So you need to know your man. You need to appeal to your man in his language being aware of where he puts up the walls, where he runs and hides, so that you could reach him. Okay, so that is the answer for those of you who are just missing a little romance from your husband, but everything else is fine. He's a great provider, he's loving, he's considerate. Um, he smiles at you, he speaks to you as an equal, and he's fair-minded in everything you could ever hope for, but you just wish he was a little more romantic. Now there's the other group, where not only is your husband not romantic, but he's harsh with you. He's not intimate with you. You argue with each other all the time. Maybe you even fight in front of the kids, which you should never do, and you know that. He avoids you. He's all the time in front of the boob tube or on the internet, just so he doesn't have to talk to you. That's different. And it should have been a different question. But in those cases, what it means is your marriage is slipping towards divorce. And please don't tell me, oh no, it's not that bad. No. I remember watching a movie where a guy slipped and started sliding down the mountain and it looked like fun. Then the camera panned over to the cliff. That cliff is a divorce. And what happens, generally speaking, when the marriage is not functioning well, you start slipping and it builds momentum, go faster and faster until you hit that cliff and it becomes a divorce. Now, for those of you in that situation where everything is not good, I'm gonna break that group into two groups too. There's the group where let's just call it, things could be a lot better. For those of you who are in that realm, 
subscribe to the channel, learn more about marriage. If you don't mind spending a few dollars, get one of my books, which lays out marriage and will really help you. I mean, you look at the reviews on Amazon and it's just turned people's lives around, not just their marriage, either breaking the cycle or lessons for happy marriage. It's not that much money. So if your marriage is not racing towards the cliff, just get one of the books. Just subscribe to the channel. You'll be fine. You'll learn so much. You'll be so happy. However, if you're in the other group where you're slipping really fast, the Marriage Foundation and I created courses, one for women, one for men. Obviously, you want the one for women. And in that one, you will learn not just how to be married, which you can get from the book, but you will be brought back to the right path of marriage quickly. And it'll blow your mind. It'll be like, now you're wondering when you're gonna get a divorce, and within a couple, three months, and we get testimonials all the time where people say, wow, you've changed my life. Thank you so much. Because marriage is supposed to be amazing. You got married to be happy, right? You got married so that you would be happier every single day of your life, every day, happier than the day before. I'm not exaggerating. That's why you, people get married. Who wants a life that's boring and mundane? Who wants a marriage that is stagnant? The other reason you get married is to experience unconditional love, marital love. It's a beautiful experience. And that too should be ever expanding. It's infinite. Love has no boundaries. And we can take you from slipping rapidly to the edge and get you back on the path, safe and secure, but much more to where you can have the promises of marriage, love, happiness. Why shouldn't you? You deserve it. It's an innate gift, but we don't learn how in society. So now you get to learn how. I hope this was helpful for you. And I appreciate your spending time with me and your liking this video of course helps more people because then I don't know the algorithms take over and more people see the video so blessings to you to your husband to your family don't be afraid to leave a comment I'm happy to respond to you God bless